Let me um, say how happy and excited I am to be moderating uh, this very important uh, roundtable uh, with so many able and wonderful partners uh, that have joined uh, today in this discussion. This is a congressional roundtable on preventing teen pregnancy and promoting healthy relationships among youth in foster care. We're also particularly pleased to have so many foster care youth uh, with us today to lend their own voice and own personal experience uh, to this issue as uh, Congress uh, and national leaders uh, strive to find um, solutions uh, to, this, um, uh, to this situation. So let me just uh, begin by um, giving just very brief uh, opening uh, remarks. And as you know, we'll be joined by other members of Congress. Um, some of them are right now tied up in a Ways and Means markup on the House side, but I'll introduce them um, in a moment. Uh, as I said, you will hear in just a moment uh, the evidence uh, that shows uh, an alarming number of youth in our nation's foster care system are becoming parents uh, and an equally high number of youth aging out of foster care system are choosing to become parents outside of marriage. Now this is an issue for teenagers across the board in America, but a particular focus today is on the youth in foster care. Uh, like with many of the issues facing youth in foster care, it will not take us long to define the problem as well as compile a list of potential causes. The more difficult part, of course, is putting in place the innovative policies and practices needed to reverse this trend. Over my career in public service, which has now been almost 30 years, I've had the privilege of getting to meet hundreds of youth in foster care. This experience has affirmed my belief in one simple truth. It is not the children in this foster care system that are broken, quite the contrary. It is a system itself, and in many instances, it's the um, parents and families uh, that were broken and unable to raise these beautiful, loving children and young adults with enormous capacity and potential. So the system that we have designed to care for them fails uh, in many, many areas. These youth came into care because their biological parents were either unwilling or unable to parent them in a way that was appropriate and safe, and instead of helping them deal with trauma, and loss that comes with facing that reality. In too many cases, the current system somehow manages um, to add trauma to their lives. Instead of connecting them with safe, loving, and permanent families of their own, we somehow manage to strip them of the few relationships with their biological family. They may have connections with siblings, moving them around from school to school, social worker to social worker, and disconnecting uh, some of their um, lifelines, the few that they have left. Making matters worse, as I said, the constant moving from home to home provides them of the opportunity to form healthy relationships which build their self-esteem. Despite all of this, many of the youth in this room have um, excelled um, beyond um, beyond expectations, sometimes even their own expectations and others to succeed with top grades, college um, uh, graduation rates, et cetera. But today we're here uh, to talk about uh, the issue of teen pregnancy.